Okay, what up ladies and gents, it's your favorite Asian robot right here, hopefully your favorite Dark Tide YouTuber, and today I've got a little video updating the veteran builds that I did before. Why is that the case? Because exhilarating takedown is bugged. It is so badly bugged, and Fat Shark is already aware of the issue if you go on their forums and check the bug reports. I'm pretty sure several people have already mentioned exhilarating takedown being bugged. But this information came to me from not only several viewers, but also from my own people looking at the code. Now, I thought everybody was already aware of it, like usual, because I don't use mods, and that I was just slow on the uptake, but apparently several people are not even aware that this bug exists, and that is why I'm making this video, so that I can tell you what the bug is, and also how to counteract it and rejig your builds so that you can get the best results on the veteran while avoiding the bug. So, first and foremost, let me also say that I posted about two weeks ago one of my top veteran builds. Um, the build is in this video, okay, it's right here, and it's called the Ultimate Voice of Command build. Unfortunately, because of this bug, this build is no longer so-called the best. The, na the new best version of this will circumvent the bug, and I'll show you exactly how to modify it so that you can do that. Let's get started right away because this build video is just going to be a quick demonstration of how to rejig your talents to avoid the bug. So what I tested today live on stream, and you can actually check it out, um, my live stream was called Exhilarating Takedown Bugged, Modifying My Veteran Build. All right, it is literally one of the latest live streams I've done. If you have trouble finding it, then quite frankly, it just looks like this. Let me quickly show it to you as well before going into this, just so that you have a reference. This is what the stream looks like. Okay, you'll be able to find it on my channel, and you can go there to see all the various testings we did, how we rejigged the build, and then how we went into matches with randoms mostly, and tested various things, so to make sure that all weapons work with it. Okay, like I said, this build is literally so good, it will work with any weapon, but you'd have to know how to modify it. Let me start by resetting the talent tree, and first, I want to show you that in the past, my talent tree looks something like this. Okay, the talent tree in the past looked exactly like this. Okay, you might recognize this, yeah? Okay. In case you recognize this, this is the old version that you will find in that video, alright? I'm talking about the video where I showcased this build is crazy good, alright? You see it right there. Now, this build can be further modified to not only remove the exhilarating takedown problem, but also to enhance your overall gameplay. How do we do this modification? I'm going to show you step by step. First, remove these three points here. These three points are not actually necessary. Yes, this will help your team, and these two nodes will help your team and make you more of a team support player, but rending strikes is no longer very necessary, and you can reinvest the three points in other areas, all right? Grab your dead shot, grab your dead shot here, remove the points in exhilarating takedown and reload boost. Why do you want to remove the points in exhilarating takedown? Exhilarating takedown's bug, all right? is that instead of giving you the 10% damage reduction, which is stated in that figure, stacking up to three times on a range weak spot kill, it does the opposite. It causes you to take 30% more damage, which is really, really bad in Auric Damnation. If you guys were noticing yourselves taking more damage than intended, sometimes getting your hit points directly struck, even though you had additional toughness, this is the reason why. Voice command is so strong that it was overriding this, but in actuality, once you remove this, your build gets so much better. All right? It's wild. It's wild. And this is the bug that is the major problem. Okay? So, in order to resolve this bug, what we do, what we do now, is that we invest the additional talent points elsewhere. Okay? Um, if you are following the original build, if you're following the original build, assuming that you are using the plasma gun or the revolver, what you can do is that after acquiring Deadshot, if you want to use the revolver, I recommend grabbing Volley Adept, alright? Then you can put three points into Toughness Boost, Determined, and Toughness Damage Reduction, or if you find that uh, Deadshot is triggering too often and you really need your stamina, go for Stamina Regeneration Boost, it can really help. But I mostly choose Toughness Damage Reduction. Now, 
This is the original form of the build, which you can now use with the, this version is with the revolver. If you want to use the plasma gun, okay, you don't need volley adept. You go for always prepared, giving you additional ammo so that not only do you restore more ammo, but you've got more ammo to play around with, all right? Or if you find that your ammo is enough, go for the stamina uh, regeneration boost, but this is not necessary in the plasma gun simply because the plasma gun does not even trigger Deadshot in the first place, okay? So one thing which I like to do with the Plasma Gun is go for Critical Chance Boost instead, and that rounds out my build right there, okay? All right. Now, if you want to modify this even further and get even more value out of it, all right? So now you understand the Revolver and Plasma Gun forms. Let me show you how you can modify this to get even more value out of it and just go absolutely ham, okay? Um, this is going to require us to reset the whole talent tree, okay? This is the current ultimate point-saving version of this build. You go for long shot, volley adept, and you sacrifice crack grenades. In fact, you barely even use your frag grenades unless you really, really need to deal with a horde. Um, or you really need to res somebody. So, what you're going to be doing here is picking the shredder frag grenade, basically as a filler spot. You go for the range damage boost. You grab Catch a Breath. Again, this is for the more long range scenarios where enemies are shooting at you, but there isn't really anyone in melee and you're just getting hit by hordes of gunfire. This can help you, okay? Because you replenish per second when there are no enemies within eight meters. Grab your Survivalist, which is absolutely necessary for this build. Grab your Reload Boost, Toughness Damage Reduction, Demolition Stockpile, Standard, Voice of Command, Duty and Honor. Now you can use it with Executioner's Stance, but that's up to you, I don't recommend it. I prefer to use it with Voice of Command. Then you've got 19 points to play around with. Go for your Stamina Boost, Tactical Awareness, Bring It Down, Superiority Complex, Health Boost, Toughness Boost, Confirm, Kill, Iron Will. This is standard, okay? The rest of your 11 points get invested in the left side tree, where you go for Range Damage, Range Damage, Dead Shot, Toughness Damage, Precision Strikes, Toughness Boost, uh, determined, toughness damage reduction, always prepared. You can go for, um, because you've already gotten Volley Adept, you really don't need anything else here. You can actually choose to go for Critical Chance if you really want to, or you can go for your Stamina Reduction Regeneration Boost, assuming you are using a weapon that uh, uses Deadshot, and then go for a Toughness Boost on top of that, which is pretty crazy. Alright, if you find you don't need the Toughness, go for Extra Criticals right here and just have the time of your life. Okay, there are some pretty interesting ways that you can rejig this build for, for various weapons. Okay, I'm just going to really quickly show you. Um, all the forms are generally the same, but if you want to use the recon last gun, rather than this toughness boost, I would actually go for shock trooper. Okay, I would go for shock trooper. I would remove uh, always prepared if I don't need it and go for additional critical hit chance here so I can restore even more ammo with shock trooper. Or if your gun itself, like let's say you're using a recon last gun with Headhunter and Infernus, all right, with enough critical hits chance, you can just go with, with that. Oops, sorry. The build will modify itself uh, once I exit out. Okay, there we go. The build should be solidified now. Okay, even with this just bog standard build, all right, and with a stamina curio, okay, so I've replaced one of my toughness curios with stamina right here. My curios are now health, toughness, the exact same ones you saw before. But now I've got uh, a, sta a plus 3 stamina curio with damage resistance gunners and 12% stamina regen regeneration. The third perk can be anything you like. If you can, try to get uh, combat ability regeneration or toughness uh, speed regeneration, whichever one you want. But even without toughness regeneration, I, I did just fine with this. Just using damage res resistance gunners and stamina regeneration. Okay, using this with the recon last gun... It's not quite infinite ammo, but it'll work just fine. Even without Onslaught, this does very, very fine, as you can see. Alright, you can have the time of your life blasting all these hapless specials into dust with your hyper-efficient ammo consumption. Okay, so if you really want to use the Recon Last Gun, you can do this. Alright, if you want to use, say, the Revolver, just showing you the Revolver Incarnation. Same thing, except I drop Shock Trooper. If I really want to, I go for Critical uh, Chance. But otherwise, I can go for additional toughness here with the additional uh, Stamina Regeneration. And my god, does it feel glorious. Look at that. 
Yeah. You can basically almost guarantee a critical on most targets, like so, deleting them instantaneously. You don't like somebody, headshot, one tap, one tap, kind of like that. Oh, is Crusher a problem? No crack grenades? No issue. One tap, two tap, well, it's two tap, unfortunately. All right, but once you once you run out of stamina, you get no more dead shot bonus, so be careful. Let your stamina regenerate a bit, all right? And then try again. If you don't get lucky with the crits, it's about three shots on a mauler. But if you do get lucky with the crits, just as an example, one. And then, well, it's supposed to be a two tap, but sadly, not lucky on the second crit. But you get what I'm trying to go at, right? So the revolver incarnation is just very simple to do, so easy to modify. And of course, for the plasma gun, if you because you don't use this, right? You can just go for the extra critical strike chance on the plasma gun. Basically the exact same thing. You know, and, uh, well, it feels really good. There we go. Here's my same plasma gun that I've been using in all the other build videos. Just work away. Blast him. Crusher, not a problem. I mean, I guess you could charge up for a big shot as well. And one shot of Crusher, kind of like that. Up to you, you know. It's, it's really your choice what you want to do. Uh, you can get a lot of good stuff done. But, you know, genuinely, this is this is what we do. This is how awesome it feels. About three shots and a mauler, we'll get it done. You can one-shot any of these bad boys. Alright, critical or no critical. It just works really well. Unfortunately, you don't have dead shots, so you can't benefit from that. But this is alright, okay. But this is pretty okay. And, quite frankly, uh, with the same thing, right? Assuming that uh, you don't need this critical chance bonus, but you really do need the stamina regeneration... You could grab, say, even, uh, where is it? The infamous Columnus Mark V. You could grab this and go to town with that. So this is literally the universal best build if you really wanna, if you really wanna go to town on people. Now, once your stamina is gone, there's no more dead shot, but with the additional stamina, you can really, really go a little bit crazy. All right, and rack up the damage. It's really up to you what you want to do, but this is currently the best veteran build that circumvents the exhilarating takedown bug, okay? So I hope that this information helps. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this helps you rejig your builds. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you hit the like button, it tells me that you really like my content and I'll happily do more for you guys, okay? Let me also thank all of the people that have made all of this amazing stuff possible. Starting right at the top, we are thanking our top tippers, Zavi Uzumaki. We've got Livin' Lina Loka, Jeremy Suen, Austin Prime as our top tippers, top super chatter, Chris and Vikram Bao, Atomica, Who's Poppin', Wild Hunt, Scott Walker, Raymond Carter, Deathdawning982, Ronin, Zach Wolf, and Dookie. Thank you so much. Channel membership gifter, Nightshade, uh, is our top channel membership gifter. God, I, I laugh every time I mention Dookie. I love that. Thank you. Thank you guys for just being awesome. And thank you to all my viewers as well. You guys are not forgotten. You guys are absolutely amazing. I appreciate everything you guys do for me. Starting right at the top though with our uh, top channel members as well. We've got DeathDonny982, Yuri, Jason Kun, Jerry Fast, Rogue Assassin, and Zack of G. Also, thank you to all of our honored robots as well. Thank you to The King, Curry, Link Octavian, Cube, Philip, You Know, BVS Fang, Vikram Bao, Chris Mob, Commander Farsight, Day, Atomica, Emix, George Ricost, Cordova, Yabs, Nightshade, Devin Lashin, Mookie Mocha, Rena, Chase Taylor, Nathan Strong, Lady Neo, Joey Danze, Sayed Asad, Code CMF, Kami SMH, Conrad C, and Benjamin Savage. Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you to everybody that watched this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. I hope this information helps. Okay? Love y'all. Catch you on the next one.